Okay, we're going to go ahead and start off with the one from uh, 1999, the first model of the, well, it's not the first model, but the first type of HDR that I'll be reviewing. And some of you will see what I have in front of me. Some of you have been asking and wanting to donate, so here you go. Here is a tray. It is a real tray. So first thing we will put in there is the rice with vegetables and sauce and again this is designed for 24 hours but we're just gonna chuck it all on the plate and you can see this is the old school packaging it's not the brown current stuff so yep and this one is 1999, what, the 195th day, 195th day, so you give this a, a need, and there are no heaters with this, so I know some of you are going to say you heat that up, but if I had a heater with it, I would use it, but there's no heater with it, so I'm going to go ahead and put it down like anything else. It doesn't smell too bad. We'll put this one in this one. All right, and that is rice with vegetables and sauce. It doesn't look like it's a it's a whole lot of sauce, but it is what it is. And then the second entree is vegetable barley stew. Again, this one is in the old school packaging, and this was made on the 193rd day of 1999. And this stuff is really, this stuff's really hard in here, so it doesn't it doesn't want to uh, to go down to the bottom of the pouch. So it doesn't. It doesn't smell bad. It doesn't really look super hot, but I guess that is what it is too, huh? Hmm. And like we said, that is the vegetable and barley stew. And of course, we still have some peanut butter, our pastry, and it's pop tarts, and these are pretty mushed up and mangled. Cinnamon Pop Tarts. They don't really want to come apart, so we'll just put them right here in mass. And then this is the shortbread cookie. And this still looks in pretty good condition. And our biscuits or crackers. 
They still look like they've got a really good seal, so. Yep, you heard that little bit of hiss coming out of there. They definitely have seen better days. Ginormous spoon, strawberry jam, and we have the matches, the little fresh nap thingy, sugar, salt, and pepper. So, of course, we could use these on our crackers. Well, uh, let's see how daring that we're going to be. Oh, and our ginormously large emery napkin. This is something that probably should really be heated up because it it does not look well it's like a solid mass to be honest. But here we go. Well, it looks like hell, but it actually doesn't taste too bad. It doesn't really taste like stew and sauce, but yeah. All right, let's try uh, the vegetables and rice. Looks like it's got some carrots in there, some pea, I mean, some corn. Well, this is pretty good. It's not too bad. Toaster pastry. I mean, it doesn't smell uh, horrible. It smells like cinnamon, to be perfectly honest with you. I don't know, the jury's still out on this one. But shortbread cookie, this thing looks like it's still in really good form, in really good condition. That's pretty good. That's still alive. And the crackers, they do have kind of a strange odor coming off of them and according to uh, a few people from the UK they were like put some strawberry jam on the shortbread cookie so we'll just give that a little try That's pretty gosh darn runny. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be trying that, that. If it had a little more uh, oomph to it, maybe, but yeah. And we'll take a look at the peanut butter. And granted, this is uh, from 1999. Well, 
tastes all right. So peanut butter and shortbread cookie. Tastes okay to me. All right, so this was the HDR from 2001. Let's go ahead and take the one. Take a look at the one from 2012. All right, now we are going to go ahead and take a look at meal number one of this t packaged in 2012 HDR by AmeriQual. Again, have the tray back. First entree is bean salad. And it has a different box than the earlier type. And even the packaging is more traditional. And again, bean salad. And this was packaged on the 116th day of 2012. It's definitely a lot more pliable than the earlier ration that was almost 15 years older. And again, no heater, so you eat, eat it yourself by some of your means or it gets eaten cold. So since I don't have other means available and I'm out in the middle of nowhere, we're going to eat it cold. And then peas and pasta also in different pots. Well, that's kind of ironic. The first package on the other one was kind of soft. The second one was hard. This thing is this thing's pretty darn hard too. So hmm. maybe it's a trend with HDRs. I don't know. Well we are going to get some assistance. Well maybe Maybe if I can cut it right, we're going to get some assistance with this one. Well, that's quite a look. Yeah. That is a solid mass of goop. So... Take our warped spoon. Yeah, that would have to be heated up. We might have to go ahead and, and heat a portion of this up just for a fair taste test. All right, then we had another package of crackers. Oil packages, pretty uh, it's like your standard MRE type cracker. It's kind of weird. Uh, these are only two years old, and these have a an odd smell to them too. So. That's kind of a uh, odd. And then our raisins or osmotic raisins. Man, got some juice on my hands. I don't want to cut with these packages. This should be a uh, raisin paste. See, these are pretty stuck together. Pretty flattened out. And then again, we have a fig bar or fig bars. In this case, they look a whole lot better than the 
ones that'll last ration. Oatmeal cookie. Well, just in the shortbread survived. That's it's kind of nice. And then we have another package of crackers. And I'm just gonna open them up because if they uh, smell anything like these, they're not really worth saving. strawberry jams and a peanut butter give the peanut butter a good need really should these crack me I don't know maybe it's I don't know maybe it's I don't know they smell kind of weird too Peanut butter looks better. Let me try the jam. Maybe the jam is just supposed to be runny, but I don't remember it being that runny. Yeah, that's kind of how I remember it. Having some solidity to it. Mm, that's pretty good. All right. So in fairness, we're going to try this cold first, and then we'll go heat some up. Definitely have to heat this up. The beans are kind of like little bricks. There we go. And what is this one? The bean salad. The salad part tastes okay. The beans are still kind of tough. So, oatmeal cookie. Oh, this freaking thing is hard. It's almost like this was over baked. But I'd be happy as hell. If I was in a disaster area and I got that. Fig Newton or Fig Bar. And the raisins. Well, let's heat this up real quick, and we'll be right back. Okay. Now we have the bean salad. I mean, we have the bean and pea pasta. Is that what it is? This is heated up on this side. I almost lost it there. See, the pasta looks a whole lot better. Beans probably are palatable now. So, this one definitely has to be heated up. This one is supposed to be eaten at room temperature. So,
Okay, now the conclusion. We can see from the old to the new two different types of packaging. Even the retour packages were different. And two different types of bags. This one is very thick, very durable. And these ones are kind of the newer ones. They're a little easier, a little more give. But that is the taste test of a 1999 HDR compared to a new and improved 2012 HDR. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.